Hello people, Strange Templar here, and it is time to go on yet another Hearthstone Arena run. Today, our options are Rogue, Warlock, or Hunter, and I think we're gonna go ahead and go with Warlock this time. Uh, we were Rogue last time, and I just, I cannot play a Hunter very well. Um, the Hunter revolves around beasts and requires a lot of synergy that I can never get in arenas. I always fail with it. We'll do it eventually, but let's go ahead and go um, goal down with the Warlock. His special power, of course, is deal two damage to uh, to himself to draw a card. Uh, let's see, we have Molten Giant. Costs one less for each damage our hero has taken. Uh, costs one less for each card in our hand or we can destroy a minion with an attack of seven or more i think yeah this is a hard one i always i always choose the wrong one because as a warlock we can deal a lot of damage to ourselves, which will make this get cheap uh early on but this one uh we can get more cards in our hand so this could also be a viable option uh big game hunter is good when the opponent gets out some big cards, you can just instantly destroy it if you need to. I think we're going to go ahead and take Mountain Giant just to be on the safe side. Because, um, I mean, we still have to deal 10 damage to ourselves just to make... Well, you know, we can get 10 damage to ourselves pretty easy. I was For some reason, I was thinking I had to do a full 20 damage. Let's go ahead and take the Molten Giant. We should be able to deal enough damage to make that worthwhile. Okay, Void Terror, Battle Cry. Minions on either s destroy the minions on either side of this minion and gain their attack and health, which is pretty darn good. Um, at the end of your turn, give another random friendly minion plus one health is good as well. Uh, but the Void Terror can be really good. You can make it into a monster of a card for only three. Uh, let's see. The Summoning Portal is great. All minions cost two less. Uh, let's go ahead and get one of those. Let's see, Stampeding, destroy any mini. It, I can't talk. Uh, destroy one of your mantle crystals. I I like that the fell guard is a three five for only three, but destroying a mana crystal is really it's it's painful early on, uh, just because you're so far behind. Especially if you go last, it's painful. Uh, discard two random cards is okay. Uh, especially if you don't have any cards in your hand, I think you can still play it. Let's go ahead and get a 5-7 for 5. Uh, the Stampeding Kodo is okay, but let's go ahead and take the Doom Guard. Deal 4 damage to a minion. Silence a minion. Or we're not going to take up any pirates because we, as a warlock, cannot take any weapons. Uh, I like Silence. I think one of our problems with the last run was that we didn't have... We didn't have any silence, so we couldn't mess up any of their things. Uh, destroy demon, restore five health can be helpful. Uh, Murloc and pirate, like I said, we aren't going to take pirates. Murlocs aren't good because we can't guarantee that we're going to have any Murlocs. We'll take the Scarlet Crusader. Divine Shield's good. 1-3 uh, taunt. A 6-5 taunt is pretty darn good. Or destroy demon and restore five health. We already took the sacrificial pack once. Let's go ahead and take a six-five taunt. Uh, taunts are great walls. Uh, Stormwind Knight, I don't like. It does have a good health for a charge, uh, but I think we're gonna go Stranglethorn Tiger. Yeah. Stealth is always good. All right, here we go. Deal one damage to this minion and summon a one-one imp. I'm not sure, and I should definitely check. I'm not sure if the imp counts as a demon or not. It should. You would think it does. Um, knife juggler is great though. After you, it's a three two, and after I summon a minion, deal one damage to a random enemy. This is great, especially if we have like a summoning portal out. We can just play out a whole ton of cards and uh, deal a lot of random damage. Uh, swap the attack and health of a minion's okay as well. Uh, but it's probably going to be between one of these two. I'm going to go ahead and take Knife Juggler, though, especially since I know that I have at least one summoning portal to get everything out uh, cheaper. Let's see, we have Leopard Gnome, which is a good... Well, it's a decent one. Uh, restore two health to all friendly characters is okay, but I think Chilwin Yeti is going to be a better choice for that. Flame Imp, deal three damage to... Uh, to your hero. This is okay though because it's a one point card and it's a 3-2. And dealing one damage to ourselves 
th or three damage to herself isn't really all that bad in the grand scheme of things. Uh, the first min uh, minion you play each turn costs one less, or we can swap the attack and health of a minion. I still, I mean, it's a taunt, but destroying one of your mana crystals, that's more than just destroying a card. That's more than that, that, th unless you're like very late game, that's just so, so painful. I, I, I can't, I, I just can't do it. Uh, do that. It's kind of like our, a miniature summoning portal. Uh, restore two health is decent. Um, adjacent minions have plus one attack is good, especially if I already have minions out. Deal three damage to a minion can be great. A uh, great way to kill, or four damage to a minion. Great way to kill someone. Deal one damage to all other characters. That includes our characters and includes me as well. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, could be good if he has a lot of lower health minions. Compared to the other two, I think that one's going to be a better choice. Uh, let's see, we have all other minions are plus one, plus one. We have a taunt and we have a divine shield. I think... Uh, this is a hard choice for me. I think just because we're low on the high, high end, I'm going to go ahead and take that. Let's see, we have divine shield, restore three health, or a pirate, which we aren't going to do. I won one with divine shield. Uh, especially if we get that er out early, we can usually get two, maybe even three hits in on it. Spell damage plus one. How many spells do we have? Restore five health to our hero. I don't know if... No, because health... Uh, there's spell power and spell damage, so this I don't think will help at all. Let's see, what else do we have? I think Shadow Bolt's really our only spell right now. So that's not going to be worth it. A uh, see, getting a five point charge is good, but basically, it's a one shot thing for six. I don't like it. Let's go ahead and get a taunt, a one two taunt. Whenever I cast a spell, draw a card. That's not going to work. Uh, let's see, battle cry. Give your opponent a mana crystal. Wow, these aren't really all that great. If our opponent has four or more minions, take control of one at random. I guess I would be okay. But this one's not going to be worth it at all because we're not going to be casting spells. Uh, we have charge, but we give an opponent a mana crystal. Also probably not good. Let's go ahead and take the mind control tech. Probably won't ever get to use his battle cry, but hey, if we can, that'll be great. Uh, battle cry summon a 2-2 two, two knight. So basically this is a 6-6 six, six for 5, um, although it's a 4-4 four, four and a 2-2. Two, two. Still good. I like it. Hellfire, th deal three damage to all characters. This is like my board wipe, uh, which is pretty darn good. And although it does affect us as well. Adjacent minions have plus one attack or deal four damage to a minion. I think we already have a Shadow Bolt. Yeah, we already have one. And I think we already have one of these. I think, let's go ahead and take four damage to a minion. Just because it's a great way to deal damage and let us attack with our other minions. Uh, without getting them killed. Uh, we have a 2-5 charge. We have... I don't like some of these choices that we have. Uh, Wind Fury's good, but the problem is she usually dies. If she can get one turn in to do some attacks, that's great. But if she dies beforehand, it's a 4-5 for only 6. So let's go ahead and take the Argent Squire. See, Battlecry frees a character. I like that one. It's a good way to keep someone locked up. Deal one damage to a minion. If that kills it, draw a card. Uh, great way to get another card into our hand. Um, we already have one Lord of the Ring in Arena, don't we? How are we doing on costs? See, we don't need any more lower. Let's go ahead and take the six. Uh, spell damage. Boulder Fist Ogre will be good. War Golem for a 7-7. Seven, seven. Or Enrage, Wind Fury, and plus one attack. This is good, be especially if I have the, uh, not that one, the Mortal Coil. If I can Mortal Coil it, give it uh, Wind Fury and plus one attack, that can be really good. Uh, what do we have here? At the end of your turn, give a random friendly minion plus one health. Destroy the minions on either side. We already have one Void Terror, don't we? 
Yes, we don't need another one. And we don't want that. Let's go ahead and get that one, see if we can get some more health out of it. And uh, here we go. Gul'dan versus Malfurion. I must protect the one. Your soul shall be mine. All right, this is actually a great pick. We get the Defined Shield. Yeah, this is a great start. We are against the Druid, so the Druid is going to be able to do a lot of damage to our one health minions. Uh, he can basically use his power, gives him an armor, gives him one attack. But this is great. Um, the Divine Shields will be great. The adjacent minions have plus one attack. All that good stuff. That's a great turn. Uh, turn one, turn two, and turn three if we need to. I don't know how this is going to work, though. Where... Uh, Adjacent minions have one attack. I don't know if that'll count, uh, but let's go ahead and get her yeah, out. Me. Uh, and end our turn. Uh, so this way, I mean, even if he does attack, he'll take one damage and she'll stay alive, hopefully. Hopefully that's not gonna happen though. Put this apple on your head. Or you could throw that guy out. But that's fine, what we can do here. Ooh, another divine shield. Uh, basically just throw this down. Kill him off, and we still get to keep our shield. Pretty easy there. Now we're already two minions ahead on him. Hopefully, uh, let's see, what other good cards does the... Ooh, stealth. Can't attack him until he attacks first. Uh, but let's go ahead and... Take this one down. Probably what I'll do is... I should have put it over on this side, and then I could avoid Tarid right here between these two. Uh, because I don't really want to get rid of the Direwolf Alpha. It's just too. I fight. Too good of a card to just sacrifice for extra health and extra damage. So hopefully. Mind if I roll need? We'll be okay. Gonna kill off her is fine. We're still doing fine. What's he gonna do with the jungle panther though? That's what I'm... Oh really? Well that's easy to uh, do. Okay what we're gonna do here... Probably what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the Chilwin Yeti down. Yeah we'll do Chilwin Yeti here. We'll... We want to attack first. That way we at least get the health or the attack bonus from that. We'll trade here, and then next turn we'll do Summoning Portal and then the Void Terror between these two. Uh, I think that'll work just fine. And she already attacked? Yep. Okay. So not a problem. But yeah, or, I mean, I could Summoning Portal here and then do Void Terror in between them. I mean, that's a possibility. Deal three damage to all characters. Or what we might have to do here, we could deal four damage to the minion. That gives us two health. Or two mana left. I think what we'll do. So many possibilities. I know, there's a lot of possibilities. Let's go ahead. Let's see what we can get here. Mind control tech, that's not gonna help us. Okay, so we'll do Shadow Bolt here. And then we will deal some damage there. Get him down to 14 health. And we still have the coin. I forgot that we still have the coin. So that's not bad at all. So we could do next turn, we could do summoning portal. So he's gonna attack there, that's fine. That's fine. How do we want to do this? Let's see. Oh, here we go. So if we do summoning portal, how do we, okay, how, how, let, let me think this one through. We attack here, I we do summoning portal, we deal three damage to ourselves, and then we replace the blood imp. Yeah. Okay. So we go here. Join here. You want to go like so. And 
I mean, we can go here, but just in case he somehow gets like the the Treant card or something like that, what we'll go ahead and do. Actually, actually, no, we'll coin. Take this and go here. Perfect. And end our turn. Yeah, I think that works. So we have a 9-8, which is perfect. I mean, there's, I mean, I don't think the Druid has any way of destroying an actual minion. I don't think so. I mean, like the, oh, okay, he does. But I get to draw two cards out of it. So, hey, there's that anyways. Costs one less for each damage our hero has taken. Well, that doesn't help. Okay. Well, then. We could... Hmm. How do we want to do this? If we... Deal three damage to all characters... That will go down to five. Yeah, basically, next turn we can make this come out for free. Or close to. If we do that... Um... This is a waste of a Shadow Bolt is the problem. Let's go ahead and take this. See what we can get. Okay, well, we'll get a taunt out of it anyways. That will at least draw that, hopefully. And next turn we can get the Molten Giant out for three. So hopefully, hopefully this will work. Um, I don't know though. We'll see. Yeah, we can get three, six, seven, and we'll still have one left over. Mind if I roll need? Oh, okay, so he's got a lot of little guys. Give your characters plus two attack this turn. Oh, okay. I see what he's doing. So he's gonna kill you. And hit me there. Okay, so now this guy's free. That's cool. If only I had a taunt, though. That's the problem, is I don't have any taunts. So what I'm gonna have to do... He can deal four damage. I'll bring you out and freeze you. I will bring you out. I wish I could. I should have played the Shadow Bolt, probably. The light protects me. But right now, all he can do is five damage. Uh, two, four, and five if he does that. So hopefully that keeps me alive. We'll see. Um, if it does, we should be okay. We should be able to deal nine damage. Should be able to. Hopefully he doesn't have anything good. Uh, I do know that there's a Treant, which would be like an 8-8. Oh, there we go. That's it. Yep, that's it. Dang, that... That last minute attack. Dang it. Well, we came close. We came close. Alright. I didn't even think about that. Uh, one of our quests is to cast spells, so we have one spell last left to cast to get a little bit more gold in our coffers. I really hope we can get at least one win in. I was feeling really good about that, too. We started off really well. And then just kind of lost it there at the end. So, I don't know. We'll have to look back through it and see what I could have done better. Gul'dan versus... The problem is, hindsight's always 50 fi or 50 50. It's always 20 20, anyways. Okay, we're going first this time, which makes a little bit of a difference. Let's go ahead and get rid of those. Not nearly as good of a draw. There we go. And so we have two different twos that we can play. I think what we'll do is we'll get this out turn two, and then we can get these two out turn, 
uh, three. Yeah. Especially since you only have a one damage. Although, you could t attack here and then fireball. But hopefully that doesn't happen. That probably is what's going to happen, though. Yep. Called it! Alright, uh, so this turn... What I'm gonna do here... Whenever you cast a spell, gain plus one attack. The problem is, I, I'm gonna play that. If she plays a spell, I just hope that she doesn't have any spells right now. That's the only thing I can do, is hope that she doesn't have any spells. If she does have spells, then it's going to be a good trade for her. It's going to be a great trade. Another one of those. Wait, the coin cast counts as a spell? Are you serious? Are you serious? That's stupid. Alright, uh, what we could do this turn, we will life tap, and then I guess we'll th silence the apprentice, I think. And then next turn we can summoning portal. I don't know, we're already f behind. Dang it! Um, life tap. Summon you. Hopefully that'll keep spells slightly more expensive. But yeah, we need some cheaper... Cheaper minions out. Quickly, please. Deal one damage to a minion. If it kills it, draw a card. Of course, we can't deal damage to any of our min... Or we can't kill anything right now. I'm gonna go ahead and chill when Yeti... Yeah, let's go ahead and chill one Yeti. Doesn't really do much for us, but... Whatever. <sighs> yeah, we're off to a really bad start. Deal three damage to... and... yeah. Really? Why did he leave it with one health? It's interesting. Okay, so what we can do now, we could... I think what we need to do is Hellfire, honestly. We have to Hellfire. And we'll do Flame Imp, okay. Well, that's really all we can do. At least it clears the board. We're down to 12 health already, which really sucks. But on the next turn, we can get the Molten Giant out, so that's great. Spell damage plus one. That's your entire turn. Alright, so this turn, we have Summoning Portal. We have Molten Giant for free. We have Scarlet Crusader. We could get this up and make it a huge number, but I don't think that's going to be worth it right now. And let's go ahead and... Hmm. We're going to have to get a card. Hopefully next turn we can do something good. Hopefully. Problem is, right now... If you have a fireball, it's basically dead. Or, there. Yeah, I'm basically dead. That's what I said. Yeah! For a second, I thought she targeted there. I was like, that's not very smart. But yeah, that sucked. Hey, Spellmaster! Yay! Okay. Wow. That sucked really bad. Alright, let's, let's see if we can do a little bit better with this one. Oh my gosh. That wasn't good at all. If we go 0 and 3, I won't be surprised. Well, we did the best that we could. Gul'dan versus Jaina. 
You asked for it. Your soul shall be mine. And we're against a mage again. So hopefully this one goes a little bit better. I think we're gonna go ahead and get those. I might even throw the summoning portal back in. Actually, we don't really need the Shadow Bolt right now, either. Let's just go for a whole new hand. Shadow Bolt's better more mid-game or late-game. That's a much better start. That is a much better start. Okay, I think my problem is I'm not really good with using the Void Terror. I don't know how to properly utilize it, I think. It's really hard knowing when to destroy your other like when to destroy your other minions. Oh, uh, let's see. So we can do The problem is neither of these are good to get out right now. I think what I might actually do is take a card and then next turn ring into both of these. Let's see how that how that works for us. It may not work at all, but it may work spectacularly. Ready to ride. And that's going to be a lot of damage to us early. But now what we could do... is do this to draw a card. We can go ahead and get the Direwolf Alpha out. And then next turn we can... We can get maybe Silverhand Knight out. See, Silverhand Knight getting the 4-4 four, four, and the 2-2, two, two, that would basically make the Void Terror into a 9-9. Nine, nine, which would be pretty darn good. Deal 3 damage to a character and freeze it. Yeah, that'll kill that off. Alright, so let's go ahead, ring, knife juggler, and the worgen. There we go. Get a minion dead with it. And then next turn we can do the silver hand knight. Turn six we can void terror and mind control attack. And hopefully something good will happen. By then we've probably lost enough health to actually just, you know, do this for free. Deal one damage to all enemy minions, and you're obviously going to do something. Okay. That makes sense. Okay, so what did I say? We're going to do this. Fire, attend me. Ready, sir. We will go ahead and deal some damage finally. Yay! We dealt some damage! Um, we need to get some more taunts is what we need. The problem is, once you make a Void Terror, put the Void Terror out, when you have a 9-9, your opponent is going to do everything in their power to just destroy it. And that's what gets me. And I think what we'll do here is we'll attack here. We will attack here. Wait. Oh, crap! That's not what I meant to do! No! No, that's not what I meant to do! Dang it! Well, that sucks. Uh, if you insist. So we'll get you out for one. We'll get you out for five. Dang it! Misclicking is not a good thing. Hopefully she doesn't have any way to freeze or destroy any me. If, I, if she can destroy me, that's going to suck. What do we got? Like Spells cost one less. Summon a 1-1 one, one scout. So far, that's not bad. Wait. Oh, I thought she was... I thought she was destroying her murloc. I was like, that doesn't make much sense. Okay, so I can deal 13 damage... I can deal 16 damage. I can deal... 
I think we'll go ahead and get this and that out and just do as much damage as we can. So you can deal 6-7 damage out of my 11 health. Hopefully I can just... I mean, hopefully there's no way she can do enough damage. Although if she has a fireball... Fireball is such a game winner for mages. It's so crappy. I mean, 6 damage? It's such a good card. Well, clearly she doesn't. Deal 4 damage to all enemy minions. It's not bad. Although you are going to clear the board. For the most part. Well, that's not bad. So I can deal 6... I can deal 9 damage right now. So let's deal 6 damage. We can get the taunt out, which doesn't really help me much, but it does at least buy us a little bit of time. We can mind control tech, and then we could void terror. The problem is if she has anything that's going to deal any kind of damage or freeze or something, I just, I don't think it's worth it. I really don't think it's worth it. Unfortunately, as much as I'd love to, what I could do is do this and make it into a 6-6. Six, six. That way, either way, I, ha I have two different sixes. That's probably the best way to do that. Now I have two different sixes. Hopefully she doesn't have, well, even if she has a fireball, all she can deal is six damage, right? Well played. Yes. You win. Yay! Woo! We won one! We won one! Yes! Hooray! We actually got a win! Alright, here we go. One more. One more win under our belt. Gul'dan versus Rexa! Let the hunt begin. Your soul shall be mine! Alright, so we're going first, and we have some not-so-great cards. I'm going to go ahead and keep the Raging Worgen. That's a good one to get out on turn three. Uh, the other two, just too expensive for our blood. Hopefully we could get something a little bit lower. Ah, uh, that's not good at all. Turn two, though, we can life tap. And turn one, we can do that. Perfect. Alright, so we're going against the Hunter. Hunters have the ability to do direct damage to our hero with their special power. Which is something that we're going to want to keep uh, track of. Also, we have to worry about all of his beasts. Any any of his beasts that he gets out, we want to shut down as early as possible. Put this apple on your head. Okay, that's an odd one to get out first. Uh, so what we'll do here is we want to kill this just because we definitely don't want him getting anything out early especially if it has like a buzzard or, or anything that's cheap with that just shooting arrows at us every time not good all right raging morgan i want to keep the mind control tech just in case he has uh there there's one secret that you can get whenever uh, your minion is attacked, summon three 1-1 one, one snakes. That would be a great time to get the mind control tech out. That's kind of what I'm thinking there. Uh, next turn, what I'll do is I might get it out. Depends on what he does here. Uh, other friendly minions have plus one attack. What we could do here is attack here, attack here, like so, we'll silence her because it doesn't really matter, we'll go ahead and draw a card, 
So next turn we'll get the squire out. Wait, you've already attacked? Yeah. Okay. So that was great. I mean, so far so good. Yeah, the Starving Buzzard, whenever you summon a beast, draw a card. Yeah. That's what I was thinking of. Cards like that. That's a great way to get a ton of cards in your hand. So you just got to draw four cards. And he's basically going to clear the board. Yep, basically just cleared the board. That sucks. So we could get the 4-4 and summon a 2-2. The problem is he's probably going to trade it. But honestly, that's actually going to be a good thing because we don't want him to be drawing cards every time he summons a beast. Uh, we definitely don't want him to be having lots of cards because when hunters have options, they can do a lot of crap that we don't want them to be doing. Especially if every single card in his hand is a beast. Just keep drawing cards. Play a card, draw a card, play a card, draw a card. Never good. Never healthy. So I am going to trade here if I can. Hmm. Yeah, every every beast he plays. It just... Fr this is such a frustrating card to have. Yeah, we're definitely going to kill that one off. Problem is, how are we gonna do it? We could go boom, boom. Yeah, what we'll do. I wish he had a demon somehow. That would be awesome. What I will do is. Uh, we want to kill if this one. Insist. We also want to kill this off. Just because it's extremely frustrating. Let's get the taunt. Ready for action. Let's get the pine side summoner and the mind control tech. And fortunately, we don't have anything that we can steal from him, but that's okay. Um, at least this way we have options. Uh, hopefully he doesn't have... I know there's a couple board clears that a hunter can have. I don't remember exactly off the top of my head what they are. That's a great way to waste your turn. Deal three, three damage to... Dang it! It's not good. And deal some damage to me. Okay. Give me something good. Void Terror. So what I'll do here, Who are you? I'll go ahead and take that. Let's actually draw this first. Deal four damage to a minion. I could just do that to destroy it, but I'm gonna go ahead and wait till he has a full health minion or something else. It's I don't want to waste it. Uh, we can make a lot better use of this later on. Does this count as a demon? It does. I am not a morning person. So yeah, here we're gonna probably destroy this guy. Deal three damage to all characters. In that case, that changes things a little bit. What I'm gonna do is. We're going to go ahead and get the Hellfire out for now. Basically, that becomes a 1-1. And on the next turn, it's going to become another 1-1. That's not all that big of a deal. Um, let's go ahead and see what we can get out of here. Knife Juggler. Might as well get it out. And then next turn, we can do something. I don't know. I haven't thought that far ahead. I really haven't thought that far ahead. We'll figure something out, though. It all depends on what he does next turn. I mean, the Void Terror... I don't know when things happen. Like, if I put the Void Terror down here, will the Knife Juggler get to go first, or what? I really hope you trade this... Well, I don't know how I hope you trade. 
but I hope... Ooh, that's not good. You're gonna trade both of them. Should've gone the other way. Oh, there we go. Okay, that makes sense then. Alright, I think what we're gonna do here... is draw a card. Well, that's not helpful. Well, yeah, what we'll do... Take the Chilwin Yeti. We can deal three damage and then destroy the demon. So basically this combo right here will give us uh, just, let's go ahead and might as well do that. Give ourselves a 7-8. And call that good. Hopefully he doesn't have anything like a core hound that will wreck our life. And that's it. Yeah, I... Yeah, letting the core hound have charge is ridiculously bad for us. Well, we got one win. Let's see what we got out of it. Dang it. Hopefully we, we'll get better over time. Like I said, I'm still relatively new to the game. I still don't know all the ins and outs. It's still hard for me to read um, what players are doing, what they're planning to do. 35 gold and a pack of cards. And our gar cards say... We're almost ready to get our third arena run. Oops, no, I don't want to look at my collection. I already know what I have. I want to see what I got, not what I had. Open packs. Here we go, something good, something good. All right. Rare. Rare. Aldo and Peacekeeper. Change an enemy's attack to one. That would be great, actually. Is that a golden back too, or is that just a paladin back? I don't know. Uh. Silvermoon Guardian's okay, Ancient Brewmaster, Temple Enforcer, and Wrath. Deal three damage or deal one damage and draw card. Okay, well, nothing all that exciting from that pack. Uh, but guys, thank you as always for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please post it in the comments. Let me know what you would have done better, what you would have done differently. Um, tell me how bad I was. Because I am all ears. I am ready to learn if you guys are ready to teach me or if you're just ready to ridicule my horrible play. Uh, thank you as always for watching though guys. I will see you next time and until next time, don't be a stranger. Take care.